welcome back to my channel so this is a request by my friend Mara she wanted me to do a makeup tutorial on a makeup look that I would wear at someone's wedding so this is my soft glam makeup look at someone's wedding so if you want to see more stick around okay so I already did my eyebrows off camera this time I used the Maybelline eyebrow pencil it doesn't have any label anymore but it looks like this uh, and it has a brush on the end. It has a spoolie on the end. So it's easy to use. It is in the shade gray brown. So now that I've done my eyebrows, I'm going to start with the eyes. So I'm going to put concealer again on the eyes. Let's prime the lid, shall we? So I'm just going to spread that all over the lid. So I always start with the eyes. So just in case there are any fallouts from the eyeshadow palette, it's easier to remove. It's easier to remove with a clean face than with makeup. So that's why I like doing the eyes first. Okay. okay, so now that we have that blended out, I'm going to set it with setting powder. Again, I'm using the Nichido Final. What do you call this? The Nichido Final Powder in the shade Ivory Glow. So now that I've set the eyes, I'm going to use the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop. So mine looks like this. It's pretty used. It's dirty. Sorry, it's dirty. I really like this. This is a gift from my brother. So I'm going to attempt to make a soft glam eye look with this palette. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Chip, which is this nice base color. And I'm just going to put it all over the lid. Okay, now that we have that, I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into Grumpy, which is this brown shade. I'm just going to use it as my transition shade. I really like the formula of Colourpop. It's easy to work with, especially for beginners like me. I love, 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 love this. So again, windshield wiper motions, just to blend that out. So now that I have my transition shade, I'm going to use Triton, which is this brown shade over here. So with a fluffy brush, I'm going to do the same thing, slightly build up on the crease. Make sure you drag it a little bit lower to your lid so that it's blended out. The thing that I learned with uh, makeup is I have to be more patient in terms of blending. It takes a while because before when I used to do my eyes, I was so impatient. I just did like one or two. I kept dipping back into the palette and just building it up and it looked like a hot mess. So now I'm more patient. I think I am. But yeah, that's one thing. You don't have to load up the product so much on the eyes because trust me, it will show. So you just keep blending. See, that's only one dip. See the difference? Okay. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay. 
So now that we have that, I just want to darken out the outer area. Smoke it up a bit. Just a bit. So with a more compact brush, I'm going to dip into the shade. Hmm, I'm probably going to mix Abu, which is this brown here, and Beast, which is this shimmer, darker brown over here. I just call them brown. They look like just brown. <laughs> and this time, I'm going to start on the outer part of my eye, just dabbing it out. So there, so this is what it looks like compared to the other eye. I don't know if you can see it with the sliding. So again, I'm just pressing it in, I'm not brushing it on the eyelid, I'm just tapping it in so that it shows more. That's what it looks like. Maybe I'll add a little bit of black, just a little bit. I'm going to dip into the shade Midnight Curfew, which is this sparkly black over here. So now I'm putting it near the lash line. Just a little bit. Just a little bit on the corner. a little bit. Just blend it out. Okay, so now that we have that, I am going to clean up a bit. Again, I'm going to go back to Grumpy. Go back and try to blend everything together. Again, you want to blend, blend, and blend. Okay, so now that we have that, I am going to dip my finger into Ray, which is this nice golden shimmer here. I'm use my finger with this one, and I'm gonna lightly press it on the eyelid. I super love this formula, guys. It's beautiful. Just drag it a bit, just a bit, where you put the black. Just a bit. So there. Now we do the other. Okay, so now you have that. Again, I'm gonna get um, my brush and dip it back in Grumpy just to blend 
everything together. I'm not gonna drag it down anymore because I already have the shimmers there. Let's make sure you're blending, blending, blending everything. So you pretty much have your eye look already. If you want to, you can dip back into Abu and Beast. Just on the outer part, just dip back in there. Just dip back it in again. Okay. There you go. So, um, I don't really like putting eyeliner. And uh, one of the people I follow, Ali Lines, again, Ali Lines, I love her. Um, she doesn't really put eyeliner anymore. And ever since I watch her videos, I realized I can do that too. So now I don't actually put on an eyeliner, only if I really need to for like the wing effect or whatever. Okay, very recently, I had a makeup tutorial by my friend, um, Eliza Santiago. She's a makeup artist. She did my makeup in Shrek. So yes, our show for the day is Shrek the Musical. I did Shrek the Musical back in, oh my gosh, I don't remember, 2015, I think. It was under Atlantis Productions at that time, Ateg. And I played Mama Bear and Mama Ogre. No, you can't see what I'm doing. I am actually cleaning my eyelash curler. My friend Eliza, who did my makeup in Shrek, said to clean your eyelash curler before you use it. I never did that before I attended her class. So you're supposed to clean it, sanitize, sanitize, always sanitize, guys. So that, you know, all the dirt, the bacteria, you get rid of it. Okay, I learned something new from her. Before, when I used to curl my eyelashes, I used to just do it like once and then done. Um, she said to do it from the root and then move it in the middle and then move it to the tip. So that at least your eyelashes are more curled, naturally curled than just sticking up. Which I actually really like. So that's what I'm gonna do. So from the root, I just put it up a bit in the middle. And pull it again and the tip. That's way better. So it's more curled in. So root, middle, and tip. Okay. So yeah, that's how I'm going to start curling my eyelashes. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Essence You Better Work Length Definition Mascara. It's gym proof and waterproof. When you're attending a wedding, you want to wear something waterproof and something that will last. So I'm just gonna apply it on my lashes. Oh, I love it. So I really like how my eyelashes look now that I know how to curl them properly. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know how to curl lashes. I have one coat down, I will add later on after I finish my complexion. So now let's move on to complexion. I'm going to prime my face with a Maybelline New York Baby Skin Pore Eraser. So it's the same thing, I'm just using the same thing. It's one of my go-tos, it's cheap and it's nice. Okay, for foundation, I am going to use something else. I am going to use Crayon Professional Makeup Supra Color. So it comes like this. So it comes in six shades. So it looks like this. So you can see, this is the shade that I use the most because it's my color. So I'm just going to use it all over the face. So I'm going to use a brush for this. I 
have a different brush. Hmm. Now I'm gonna use a brush for this and I'm just going to spread that all over the face. The thing about Crayolan, it super looks natural. So I love it. Because when I do my makeup, when I am a guest at a wedding, I just do a natural look. So there. So there you go. So you can see it still looks like my other face, only smoother. So that's what it looks like. I really like this brand. They only have a few stores here. I think there's one in Green Hills. I'm not sure if there's in Moa. There used to be one in Moa. There's somewhere in... Um, there's one in Quezon City. I forget. Somewhere in Timog. Somewhere in Tomas Morato. I just forget where. I believe this is a German brand, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is a cream foundation, guys. So, if you're not used to cream foundations, what I like to do is I like using a brush and I like spreading it on the face first. So, you'll have lines. Don't worry. Don't worry about the brush strokes just yet. Make sure you try to evenly distribute it on your face and your neck and your ear so that you look flawless. By the way, guys, you're supposed to get um, makeup foundation that blends easily on your neck. That's your basis. So this one is my perfect shade. So there we go. You still see my skin. You can actually still see my veins, which I like when I do makeup for like um, weddings and stuff. Okay, so put it everywhere. So now that it's all over your face, you take your damp beauty sponge. So this one's my Real Technique sponge. I just dip it in the palette. I like to mix the different colors actually. And then I'm just gonna dab it on my face so that we lose the brush marks. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Abby Sulit. I'm a freelance theater actor and I love makeup. So this channel is dedicated for makeup and for theater related things. So today, the featured musical is Shrek the Musical. You should definitely check it out. It's actually in daily motion now. You can watch it for free. Um, for people in the States, I believe it's in Netflix. I saw one of my friends watch it. So you can watch it. It's super fun. I love that show. We staged it here in Meralco Theater, if I'm not mistaken, last 2015. We had two runs. We had a um, September to October or October run, October to November. You know what? It's right here. I don't know. This is the rerun. Anyway, I stick stuff on my walls, guys. So... So here's the actual ticket to our show, Shrek the Musical. But this is our second run. This was a rerun. Because we had a rerun for, it was like our Christmas show or something like that. So we had a rerun. So that's our featured musical. Okay, now that it looks like it's blended out, I love this foundation. Oh my gosh, guys, it's so flawless. So flawless you have no idea how nice it looks okay so now that we have our foundation on we're going to put on our concealer for concealer I'm going to use something from Inglot it's a cream based product so mine is in this freedom system palette so this is the Jennifer Lopez I don't know if you can see it 
the Jennifer Lopez um, Freedom Palette. She had a collab with Inglot. Um, mine looks crazy. Sorry for that mess. Um, because I left this inside my car. Smart. Ah, this one's the cream concealer. The formula of this, which is a peach color correcting concealer, is not as creamy as this one. So I'm going to use the cream color correcting one. I'll try to evenly distribute this first. This one I'm just focusing mainly on the dark circles of my under eyes. So putting it there. So now that we have that, I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge. I usually color correct my under eyes when I have a big event like for example a wedding or like a show but for like every day i just put on a concealer i don't color correct anymore okay so now that we have the color correcting concealer i'm going to use the more natural looking concealer and i'm going to put it under the eye this time i'm going to drag it down a bit here Okay, the thing about this Inglot concealer is it's very sticky. I don't know if you can see. So it means you really have to set it immediately after you put it. Or else you're going to have creases. So again, I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to... Gently tap it under the eyes and I'm going to pull that towards the cheeks and a little on, on the nose, just a little bit. The extra products you want to blend in to the nose. And I'm gonna blend this up. Okay, you want to blend it up. And you don't want to have a different color here, so you want to blend it up a bit above the eyebrows and going down. Okay, so blending is important, guys. So there we go, that's one side. Now we do the other side. Alright, so now that we've put on our concealer, we're going to set the entire face with powder. So uh, again, I'm going to use Nichi Do, the final setting spray. But this time, I'm going to take my sponge. It's a little damp. By the way, guys, you're supposed to dampen your sponge before you use it. Side note, when I didn't know how to put on makeup, I would use a dry sponge. So we're, I put the um, Nichido on the lid and I'm going to dip my sponge and I'm going to put it on the under eyes. So now we're baking guys. Well sort of baking. Okay. I'm just going to put it all over where you put the creamy concealer not really baking as much i just want to use i find that if you use a sponge it's easier to press into the face and it's more blended out it looks seamless compared to using a brush so in my previous video i used a brush because the concealer that i used 
is different it's a different formula and that one you can use as a brush directly whereas this one I find that using a damp sponge applying powder makes it more flawless so I'm only going to put that where I put my concealer with the rest of the face you can use your brush okay so now I'm going to use a brush and I'm just going to put it on the rest of my face by the way I don't um, really brush the powder in the face I like stamping it on the face Because sometimes I find that um, some foundations, when you brush them, it kind of goes with the brush. Do you get that? So I like stamping it on my face. Alright. Okay, so... Now that we have that, I'm going to finish the eyes. I'm going to take the brush that I used for Grumpy. I'm going to go back in Grumpy. But with this brush, I'm going to um, pinch it so that it's smaller. And I'm just going to drag that under the entire lower part. Do the same thing the other eye. And then I'm going to take the brush I used for Triton. I'm going to get back in Triton. And I'm going to pinch it again. And put this all over. Mara, don't stab your eye. Mara's my castmate, guys. And she did stab her eye when she did the video when she copied the tutorial. So Mara, do not stop your eye. Right. So now you can lightly see that there's more definition there. And then I just wanna blend this color with the upper eyelid. There you go. Now we're gonna dip into a booth and beast this time I'm only going to put it in the outer part here slightly blending it up making sure that they're all blended out Now on a thin brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Ray, which is the shiny one. And I'm going to copy where I put it, only on the bottom part. So there you have it. That is a complete eye look. Now I'm going to add more mascara because I love mascara. So I got a bit of mascara on my eyelid. What you want to do is you want to let it dry. Once it's dry, you take a brush and you just brush it off and it's going to come off. But if you brush it while it's wet, it's going to ruin the entire look. So let it dry. Be patient and let it dry. So I'm going to put on the bottom lash. So now I'm going to finish the entire face. I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed Bronzer.
we also want to bronze your forehead to make it look smaller I have a really really wide forehead guys so I really bronze this part I like taking it all the way to the hairline so that it's seamless it's more blended out okay and then I do my chin and jawline of course I want to look thin <laughs> thinner <laughs> Now put it on the nose because I have no nose. So you wanna drag it down all the way to your you can blend it through here to the top part of your eyeshadow so it's more blended out. Put it on the tip. For blush and highlighter, I am going to use the Vice Cosmetics BT21 Collab. Collab? It's the Collab? I actually don't know. But the Vice Cosmetic Aura Duo Superstar. I think the shade is Superstar. Ah, uh, no, it's not. The shade, I think, is Old Duo Old Rose. Old Rose, I guess. So I'm just gonna stamp it. Just kind of dust it all over the face. Yeah, you can see it better in this lighting. Kind of blend it out with your contour. Okay, now that we have our blush, I'm going to put on some highlighter. I'm just going to use the other half. It's golden. I really like it. Okay, what I like to do is I like to take the same highlight, get a small brush, and put it in the inner corners of my eyes. So now that's my inner corner highlight. So that's pretty much the face. I'm almost done. All I need is actually lipstick. Before I put on the lips, I actually like removing the foundation that got on the lips. So I just take my uh, tissue and uh, for the lips you want to use something that you don't have to retouch a lot you want to use something that stays on your lips from start to end of the wedding so my suggestion is something that's bulletproof so you can use any of the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Inks, they're very good. Also, the lipsticks are actually very good as well. The ink crayons are very good as well. But there's something that I discovered recently, which is the Infallible Ultra Matte Le Macarons by L'Oreal. I don't know if you can see it. So I actually really love this. I only have two shades. I have one in the shade... Um, what is this? Praline, Praline de, Par de Paris, de Paris, de Paris, Praline de Paris. I have no idea how to say this, guys, but 820. I gave up. I'm just gonna show you. So it's 820 and 822 Mon Caramel. Caramel? Caramel. Mon Caramel. Whatever. I'm so sorry. But I love these two. These are my favorites. 
Um, I actually have this in my bag all the time because this is my everyday nude. So I'm going to use this um, L'Oreal Infallible Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Mon Caramel. Tastes good too, guys. Oh my god. By the way, guys, before you do your lips, something that I do prior makeup is I actually put lip balm on my lips because they get they tend to dry up. I actually really like the wand of this. If you can see it. Oh, I'll go like this. I like overlining my lips. So there we go. That is my lipstick. It's natural, it's nude. So it's very nice. So we're almost done, guys. Hang in there. The thing that I didn't do the last time is I did not set the face because I just did it for like a shoot, a short shoot, which you're actually supposed to set your face, but I didn't. And yeah, don't copy me. So this time, you want to set your face because you're attending a wedding. And of course, um, you don't want the makeup to move, especially if you don't know if it's an outdoor wedding, if it's um, somewhere where there's no air conditioning. So you want to make sure that your makeup is set. It does. It's locked in and it doesn't move around. So this is one technique that I learned from Ali Glines. So what she does is she um, sprays her entire face and then she uses a fan and she dries up the face. Once it's almost dry, she gets the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This one in the shade Transparent. So it's this. And I swear you don't have to retouch your face the entire time you're in the wedding. You're not gonna look as shiny. Just make sure you put it on the areas where you shine the most. So I'm going to do that now. So for setting spray, I'm going to use the Max Factor Lasting Performance Setting Spray. All day setting powder. So it looks like this. Oh my gosh, you can't see it because it's so shiny. Anyway, I like this because it has a fine mist. I don't know if you can see it, but can you see that? Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so fine. It's not like those, the one that squirts big products on your face so what you're gonna do is you're gonna close your eyes and spray the entire face make sure you spray a lot be generous with your setting spray before when i used to put on setting spray i used to do this and i'm done so you just put more make sure you're wet then i get my fan this i'm gonna dry your face so I learned this trick from Ali. It's my cute thing. And then when it's almost dry, you want to take your beauty sponge and just dab the extra product on your face. Just dab it. Don't spread. Just dab so that it locks in. Okay. And then once you have that, you get this powder. This is amazing. So I like using a fluffy brush. Oh no, it's not really that fluffy. It's more compact. I just like it. I press it on my nose, on the side of my nose, here. Because that's where I tend to have fine lines. Here. Around the lips, because you're going to eat. So because it's transparent, it's not going to ruin what you've already done. So I only use it as a final, final powder. And I put it on the nose. Gently patting it on the nose since I put highlighter and stuff on the nose. Since you're going to a wedding, I suggest you also add it under your eyes. And 
hand on your forehead where you will grease. And that's it. So now you have your soft glam. I don't know if it's soft glam, but I'll just call it something I would wear to someone's wedding because it's simple enough and you look nice. Okay, so we have the finished look guys. So remember, in a wedding, you want to make sure that it's set. You don't want it to move. You want to use a lipstick that you don't have to retouch all the time. Um, and you want to make sure you wear waterproof makeup because I'm sure you're gonna cry. Especially if it's like your best friend because I cried during my best friend's wedding. And yeah, actually I cry all the time. Whether I sing at the wedding or whatever, I usually cry. So thank you for watching guys. Make sure to hit the like button and if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload. I will normally upload twice a week, maybe thrice if I can. Um, and yeah, I would love for you to be part of the family. I hope to see you again in my next video. Mahal ko kayo. Bye!